has been a year since the construction of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam began. But where do we stand now? My guest today, Semenyo Bakele, is the project's manager. Uh, Semenyo, welcome to the program. Thank you. It's been already a year since the cornerstone was laid for the uh, Millennium Dam um, out in the southwest. As you stand today and reflect, what do you think? What goes in your mind? Um, the Grand uh, Ethiopian Renaissance Dam project is located in Ben Shangul and uh, Gumuz uh, regional state um, in a special uh, uh, warada uh, named as Guba. Uh, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam project is uh, being built uh, on the Nile River uh, just uh, within 20 to 40 kilometers from uh, the Ethio uh, Sudan border. Uh, <clears throat> and how far is it from here? Uh, it is, uh, uh, we have two routes. Uh, uh, one is uh, through um, Gohathion, just crossing the Hedase uh, Bridge. Uh, uh, there is uh, a, a roadway um, that will uh, take you about uh, 750 kilometers. And if on the other uh, a good, road... A good two days drive. Mm, if you have a really uh, uh, good uh, condition car or vehicle, you can uh, uh, arrive there within a day. Mm -hmm. We start sometimes in, um, at 6 in the morning. We, we arrive there at 6 in the afternoon. So it's a one-day travel, more or less. Mm -hmm. But we are not recommending most of the time uh, to straight drive. Uh, and the other route is through Asosa. Uh, which will take you about uh, 850 kilometers. So it is a two days travel. Uh, sometimes we use air uh, as a means of travel uh, through it up and uh, airlines. Uh, you have an airstrip in right there? there at, at the project site also, um, there is a small uh, landing strip, not uh, for commercial planes, but there are some planes uh, which uh, uh, can carry up to 20 people. Mm -hmm. So there is a. That's basically a Cessna. Yeah, Cessna. Okay. So, 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 one year, one year, are you happy? Yes. What is the progress like? Yeah. How would you describe that? Yeah, we uh, fortunately we we already I personally participated in several hydropower developments like Gilgal Gibe One, Gilgal Gibe Two, and uh, compared with the progress, especially within a year, uh, the achievements we have here at the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam project is really beyond the success I can say. Um, what does it mean? Because. Uh, at the early time of uh, the project, most of the time, uh, it is a mobilization time uh, where uh, you uh, mobilize people, I mean, uh, human resource, and when you, where you, you mobilize uh, uh, machineries, equipment. So most of the time it is a mobilization, a planning time. But here, uh, due to the uh, really um, support uh, from uh, the citizens, uh, that really creates a big uh, motivation to the people or to the uh, parties engaged in the project. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, a lot of machineries um, mobilized sites already arrived, up to 700 uh, heavy earths moving. Uh, equipment is uh, we have now. You mean the day the corner stone was laid? Yes, you yes. already had yeah, 700 yeah. Uh, yeah, the day, tracks? Uh, that, uh, the, co the foundation stone was laid uh, is uh, on 2nd April 2011. Uh, now and work started when? Immediately after? after yeah, a little bit, one, two months before. Of course, the contract has been already signed. There were some uh, preparatory works which was carried out just at the time when this uh, foundation stone was laid by uh, uh, His Excellency, uh, um, uh, Prime Minister uh, of uh, the FHRI, Amal mm -hmm. So uh, from that uh, day onward, uh, onwards, uh, a lot of activities uh, have been done, um, like uh, um, recently, if you go there, you will see that uh, up to uh, two uh, tons of uh, soils and rocks has already been, have been already removed from 
the place where this uh, dam would be constructed. This is part of the dam construction. In fact, when we, when we are saying the uh, construction of dam, it includes the investigation works also, which we are carrying in parallel. Uh, simultaneously, you are undertaking all kinds. And the foundation excavation, just to reach at the level where you uh, will find uh, sound rock. Mm -hmm. So the dam is a very big dam, 1,780 meter long, uh, more or less. I'm talking a basic design. We are working on optimization also on the dam, uh, which has 145 meter high and uh, a volume of uh, 10.5 million meter cube. So the type of uh, dam that we are constructing at this place uh, is an, a roller compacted concrete ta uh, dam. We call it uh, in short RCC. Uh, so uh, this roller compacted concrete uh, dam is uh, already chosen as it is appropriate uh, to construct at this location uh, for the purpose of generating now 6,000 megawatts of electricity. I will come uh, and, uh, back to how we already come to here also to opti by optimization. So. Uh, in the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, uh, there are two dams, in fact. One is the main dam, uh, which I have already described earlier, and there is also another... Uh, Does that mean two units? Uh, no. Uh, you know, uh, when you are um, uh, <coughs> trying to, uh, or when you are planning to generate electricity as much as possible, the cost-benefit analysis should be uh, really something that you have to accept or uh, uh, feasible. So in order to make uh, economically feasible uh, this uh, scheme, the hydropower plant scheme, uh, was uh, planned just uh, uh, to generate um, originally uh, 5,250 uh, megawatts. Now uh, we have already made it uh, uh, 6,000 megawatts. So uh, for this purpose, for that uh, location, you see you have to have uh, sufficient height and at the same time uh, the water or the hydrology must be uh, sufficient also to in order to generate. Mm -hmm. the, so the combination of the two, that's the potential energy, uh, will allow you to generate electricity. So this is a basic. So in order to do so, we have to construct this uh, roller compacted concrete dam, 1,780 meter long, uh, 145 meter high. And there is another also, uh, just uh, uh, at the nearby, um, another small dam, we call it uh, uh, rock fill dam, which uh, had 4,800 meter approximately 5,000 or 5 kilometers with a height of 60 meters. So by constructing this uh, saddle dam, we call it saddle dam, we, um, it, it gave us uh, an opportunity to increase the height of the dam, uh, the main dam, that is to 145 meters. Otherwise, this 145 meter uh, roller compact dam would have been uh, just uh, smaller with a smaller height much less 60 meters so by in order to make it 145 meters high dam there is a mountain two mountains uh, in between that two mountains uh, we have to uh, it was necessary to construct this saddle dam by constructing this saddle dam it was in the original plan was it yeah yes it's a basic design uh, uh, so it's included in the basic or foreseen or uh, already shown in the basic design so uh, by constructing this dam, the main dam is on the Blue Nile or the Nile River, and the other dam is just to uh, just to uh, close uh, that uh, small opening uh, exists that exists between mountains. Mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, by constructing these two dams, uh, it, it, it is possible now um, to uh, reserve or accumulate. Uh, uh, 75 billion uh, meter cube of water uh, behind the dam and uh, this will cover a uh, surface area of uh, 1680 meters uh, 80 square kilometers is huge it's so, very very uh, huge yeah, so this will be achieved when the reservoir is full mm. 
So and that that will take uh, two to three years after the dam is constructed. Yes, yes, yes. We will not hold or stop the flow of the normal flow of water. While you the, keep in, uh, keep on filling that dam. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. There is uh, by, uh, by its own methodology, uh, method statement, uh, procedure. Uh, to fill the dam, so uh, this is already included uh, in the in the methodology uh, uh, of uh, construction of the Grand Etiopian Renaissance Dam. So, uh, in order to uh, really uh, finalize the construction of the dam, uh, we have to excavate the area uh, at the bottom level, uh, at the foundation level. What do you so stand today? Excavation work. About uh, two uh, million meter cube of uh, material have been removed uh, from. This is a big amount. Uh, in parallel to that, we are constructing also uh, a big bridge that uh, we can allow to cross uh, easily uh, the uh, Nile River. Because uh, when you are constructing a dam, um, I mean, uh, you can imagine a flow of a river, a uh, flow of water yeah. uh, in the river. Um, so uh, there is the right bank of the river and the left bank of the river and the the, the actual uh, river uh, where this the water will be will flow or is flowing mm -hmm. so uh, this dam will lie on the uh, river bed a central portion of the dam will, will lie on the river bed and the portion of it on the right bank and a portion of it on the left bank how long is that 1,780 mm -hmm. meters long, yeah. one point yeah. almost. So that crosses, the crosses. So in order to construct this, uh, uh, we have to make dry the the normal uh, course of the river. Otherwise, when when you put uh, or when you try to excavate or after excavation, when you try to put a concrete, it will be washed out. So you have to reroute. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So without uh, stopping the flow of water, certainly. Uh, yeah, uh, there is uh, an activity which we call uh, which will be realized soon. Within a year, uh, a river diversion uh, that will allow to divert the normal course of the Nile River so that we can start construct on the central portion of the dam. The dam has a central portion, the left bank, and the right bank. Uh, so uh, there, there is a, a, a always, um, as I have already explained to you earlier, a methodology to construct an international practice while you are uh, really constructing a dam. So uh, these uh, uh, investigation works, dam excavation, uh, re uh, bridge construction, and there is more, more, most, uh, more importantly, uh, the access roads uh, will, uh, uh, by which we can arrive to different uh, section of the works, um, the garage, uh, these are the backbone of the project. Uh, the contractor uh, has to organize its own facilities. Uh, uh, for example, there are uh, about uh, 700 um, heavy duty equipment. Uh, you, you're talking about trucks, right? Trucks, um, yeah. And, and associated. Uh, associated uh, trucks, earth moving equipment, we call it. Uh, so, uh, just for the construction of the dam, mm -hmm. uh, it is dedicated for the construction of the dam, the river, and so on and so forth. So, you can imagine uh, what kind of uh, facilities uh, should exist there in order to maintain always uh, uh, the operation of this equipment smooth. Uh, so, the uh, uh, labor camps uh, they are all in place in place so you estimated that uh, i mean originally you thought that it would take 44 months to complete uh, constructing the dam mm, finish yeah. constructing the dam you already have done 12, so 32 months this is uh, what we call the early generation uh, we in our in our plan Mm. Uh, now, uh, before I'm explaining this, uh, let me brief you uh, how we arrived at uh, uh, 6,000 megawatts. Uh, this is a result of optimization, uh, which, uh, by the way, uh, have been carried out uh, or well, proposed, recommended by the Metal Engineering Corporation. We have two contractors now. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is very important to know. Yeah, exactly. Salini, it's, it's uh, it's doing the civil work and, civil and the, the mechanical and hydromechanical equipment, uh, uh, manufacturing, supply, commissioning is uh, being done uh, by the <coughs> metal engineering, metal and engineering corporation, which is a, uh, a homegrown organization. Company. Yes, exactly. Uh, 
So this is a big achievement um, by local company. Uh, this uh, huge uh, electromechanical and hydromechanical works will be made. And the optimization proposal uh, was also uh, submitted uh, by Metal Engineering Corporation. Mm -hmm. And uh, this uh, optimization is uh, directly just uh, to make you understand. Uh, previously, there were 15 units each. Uh, uh, with 350 megawatts mm -hmm. uh, installed capacity. Now we increased uh, according or based on the proposal uh, to 16 units each with 375 megawatts. So this is uh, in total 16 units with 375 megawatts. Mm -hmm. um, total uh, will give you 6,000 megawatts. So uh, they, they, they originally planned um, at the basic design uh, <coughs> megawatt has been increased by 750 megawatt now and this is a good <coughs> achievement there are 16 units of these 16 units uh, the two units are dedicated to generate uh, electricity early mm -hmm. uh, at uh, 44 uh, months from the signing of the contract mm -hmm. so that's what we uh, meant. The two units um, out of the 60 units will be ready by 44, at the end of 44 months. Mm -hmm. Even uh, we are trying to minimize that month mm -hmm. so that everything is being carried out uh, just uh, uh, to, to meet this target. Mm -hmm. And each uh, 375 megawatt times two, which means uh, more than 700 megawatt. Uh, so this is a plan. Uh, early generation. Of course, it depends on the availability of the water and the height of the dam. This has already been planned. Uh, we are not expecting to or expected to finalize the dam, the powerhouse. While you are constructing the dam and while you are constructing the powerhouse and all other appurtenant structures, you can also, or there is a possibility to produce uh, electricity with these two units. That's why um, uh, we call it 44 units, um, 44 months rather. In terms of the speed, uh, you said that it is going really well. Yeah. So are you comfortable that uh, this will be the case three years, two years down, down the line because like you're going to feel concrete and, and all that stuff and you're going to generate that locally. Yeah. W would there be a steady supply and are you comfortable with the expertise that the, the local companies have here? Um, I'm trying to yeah, think in terms of That's a very important feasibility. question. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, it's a government direction also to engage uh, local uh, companies, firms, uh, so that uh, who, there will be uh, really a capacity to build such kind of hydropower plant with our, with our service, with our money. So uh, accordingly, uh, the Metal and Engineering Corporation is uh, now engaged in the uh, design, uh, manufacture, uh, supply, it means uh, installation and uh, commissioning of the hydromechanical and electromechanical uh, <coughs> component of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam uh, project. On the other hand, Salini, which is a civil contractor, will be dedicated to construct the civil parts of components of the project and the employer with its uh, consultant. Uh, there is a joint venture. Uh, uh, French, France based and Italy based uh, company uh, that is a joint which is our consultant. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we have uh, an experience how to coordinate works mm -hmm. like this. Uh, I mean, the coordination is a very important mm -hmm. aspect in order to really uh, achieve the target, the final target. So there is an electromechanical, hydromechanical workers, and on the other hand, civil workers. All these. Uh, should be uh, coordinated and uh, we are there to coordinate with our consultants and the, uh, the, the, uh, cons the contractors are, are also well experienced. It's a matter of uh, keeping um, the time, especially uh, the time frame. So um, on one hand, uh, we are really building capacity, um, the engagement of the local contractors like the metal engineering metals and engineering corporation it's uh, an independent contractor 
for the EPCO, and uh, Salin is another uh, equal contractor, uh, but for civil works. So, uh, not only um, the government direction also showed that not only the the, the uh, engagement of the contractors, as much as the quality and the quantity is there, uh, there is opportunity also to use a locally uh, produced uh, uh, materials or inputs. So. Um, so far, uh, we are uh, uh, performing or carrying out uh, the various activities of the project uh, well uh, in, in, in a good uh, situation, uh, really a strong uh, confidence that we will meet our target. So you've been involved in Gilgil Gibe 1, Gilgil Gibe 2. Yeah. Well, you skipped Gilgil Gibe 3 because this yeah, came. Yes. So y this is something that... Uh, unlike anything that you have done before. Is it quite a challenge for you, you think? Mm, well, in terms of complexity, uh, really, uh, Gilgel Gibetu already gave us uh, a good uh, really practice. Uh, it is uh, complicated, even though it generates 420 megawatts of electricity. It's a masterpiece in the design aspect also, uh, as you have already uh, visited. Uh, very uh, excellent job. Uh, so the complexity here, it is very huge. Of course, the management uh, is also something that you have to uh, consider it very important because there are a lot of uh, resources that are being mobilized. Now, if you take, for example... And a know, deadline to meet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are working in that line. Uh, the people uh, already engaged are experienced people. Uh, this or that way, they were uh, participated in uh, different uh, hydropower development, uh, the local ones, I mean, and the expatriates, for sure, uh, they are uh, recruited uh, on this basis. One of the criteria is uh, practice on such kind of uh, and uh, workers, uh, previous workers or experiences. So, so that kind of helps? Yeah, yeah. How, how many locals do you have? Now, and laborers, technicians, and so on included. Yeah, totally now uh, at uh, the Grand Independence Center Dam, there are uh, uh, th 3,000 uh, already people, or we can say community, of these 3,000 3, 3, um, people or uh, people who are engaged in the project activities, uh, about hundreds are expatriates from different uh, uh, nations. So most of the time, uh, from our past uh, uh, also projects, we know that uh, from uh, 90 up to 95 percent uh, uh, are uh, locally in engaged uh, professionals uh, or skilled, semi-skilled professionals. So, so is that a place to be, you think, if uh, you are someone who is looking for a job? Yes. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, it is also the government's direction that uh, to uh, make engaged uh, people which are competent from uh, various localities within the country. So it is estimated um, up to 12,000 people uh, might be involved in the project. So we have now uh, different regions, nationalities, uh, uh, without uh, coming these people down to the site, there is uh, an office that's going to be opened soon. Uh, they will be hiring. There. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the but it's very hot, isn't it? I mean, it's, uh, that's not uh, something yeah. that is uh, yes, very uh, hot and so many uh, demands. So many demands. Uh, it needs your personal uh, integrity. Uh, it your personal uh, behavior. Uh, your commitment matters. Uh, uh, otherwise, as you said, uh, it is uh, not. Uh, comfortable, as comfortable as we are living in uh, cities and towns. So it's very far, very remote. We are now at the border. And uh, of course, as you said, the temperature is uh, very high. But we are not feeling that. We have a vision to see that, to, the, to see our country uh, progress uh, very well and uh, achieve uh, 
whatever, uh, especially these hydropower developments are uh, backbone for 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 uh, the sustainable uh, development. So we know that it's a backbone for our country's sustainable development, and uh, uh, will be a beneficiary also as a result of this. So with this vision. Uh, all, all the communities working there uh, do not uh, feel, uh, as you said, the temperature, its uh, distance, fairness, and so on and so forth. We have uh, really a vision, uh, a commitment. Thank you very much for your time, Samuel. It was Thank a you. pleasure. Thanks Thank a lot. So Thank you very much.